Brett Conway now ready. Penn State was here in 1923. Oregon was last year in 1958. It's Ricky Whittle from the eight. And he comes back to about the 18. There the Oregon Ducks will put it into play. Danny O'Neill, in his career at Oregon, had a huge season last year, a little less this year, but the team was more successful this year as he has thrown the ball for more than 7,000 yards. Opening behind him in the backfield will be Dwayne Jones at fullback and Ricky Whittle, number 14, at tailback. And they will play a lot of tailbacks today. Oregon will send Ricketts number three wide along with Kristen McLemore. Josh Wilcox, the tight end, also flexes out. Here's your first snap of the day. Penalty flag thrown. They try to bring it inside with McLemore. He picks up a couple of yards, but let's see about the flag. It'll be offsides against Penn State. So five up at the 24. And this is Whittle, 193 pounds. Play well for Oregon to have a chance. Second down and three. It is O'Neill looking to the right. He's got double wide there. They stay with the run. They go to Whittle. He's caught by the ankle. He can't break the first start. Is the nose ball. Third down, first pass. Thrown wide to the left side. To the holding is a penalty from the spot the foul. O'Neill's pass down the middle. Caught by Josh Wilcox. O'Neill back, short drop, quick pass. Bring it back into the middle, into the traffic, and there's the first down. Caught by Cameron Ricketts. O'Neill down the middle. Pass is underthrown. Josh Wilcox was so lucky. That pass is poorly thrown by O'Neill. Busy, too. He's uh, yes, he has. 77 punts. Get some air under it. The Penn State offense against the Oregon defense. The ball is at the 16-yard line. It is first down for the Lions with Milne and Kajana Carter lined up in the backfield. Brady Scott is the man in motion. Here's Carter. And breaks it. He's gone. Goodbye. It'll be touchdown Penn State. First play of the ball game. It goes into the books as 83 yards. They had him, they fought, and then he can first down Penn State 34 yard line. Danny O'Neill back to throw it. He has time, he has a man. Wilcox, he's at the corner, out of bounds, just short of the one yard line. O'Neill will throw it, has his man, touchdown, Wilcox. guy weighs in at better than 230 pounds 2700 yards almost 21 touchdowns and only seven interceptions great year for the young man Keith he was the top rated passer in the country and my he was my choice as the surprise player of the year he wasn't rated in the top 20 of the quarterbacks at the start of the season second offensive play of the game for Penn State now bet you the Ducks know where Kajana is College back to throw it. Throws underneath to the fullback out of the backfield. Ryan Milton. There's Carter. You know all about him. John Whitman is normally your fullback, except today Brian Milne steps up. Ingram and Scott, very, very good wide receivers. Kyle Brady thought by many to be the top tight end in the country. But Josh Wilcox has set a pretty good standard so far in this ball game from the Oregon side. Brady hasn't seen the ball yet. Into the middle goes the fullback, Bill. Go for Turnover. Next year, they're both juniors. They'll be yep. back. Yep. Penn, Penn Jeff Hardings uh, is the man who leads that offensive line for Penn State, and it's it's an offensive front that is very good. Hardings an All-American. In fact, five All-Americans on this offensive unit for Penn State. Lions have a first down, 37-yard line. Carter's second carry of the ball game, and this time in the defensive secondary. The corners are good, too. That pitch is swung out to Carter. Number 56 over there in a hurry to get a piece of it. Archie is in the backfield, a very good pass receiver for the Lions. He goes in motion, and Collins is back. Pressure's coming. They're after him. He throws it to the ground. That's exactly what Oregon wants to do. The referee threw a penalty. Kajana Carter went 83 yards. The Ducks came right back. Kenny's kick is out of there. It's a good one. 
fielded by O'Berry. And he is taken down almost in his track. There goes Whittle. He now becomes a wideout as he breaks into the open on the sidelines, catches the ball, gets the first down. And Whittle and Phil Yaw both in the backfield right now for Oregon. O'Neill bumps it. He takes it down the middle of the tight end. Wilcox again, and Wilcox moves it. Sharing the position. They both play a lot. O'Neill is back. Let's it go down the middle. This will be intercepted. It is picked off by Chuck Penzenic. He threw that one up for grabs. That was a bad decision to let it go because Chuck was sitting back. Penzenic right there just going to back up, play his eyes. Poor throw, obviously, by O'Neill. He had an open receiver going across the field. He was, did have some people in his face, though. Sure. I mean. And you don't read the cover. Here goes Carter. And Dejana on his second effort. The season was 53%. Terry Collins looks deep, goes underneath. Ball is patted down at the line of scrimmage. Number 93, you Slayman. Know, they're a gutty football team. They're really a bunch of tough, good kids. This is Whittle. And he gets to the After ball. layoff. O'Neal. Steps away, gets away, picks up some real estate on his own. McLemore's number one. He's in motion. Ball on the 34. Pressure coming. O'Neill better hurry. Dumps it in a hurry. Gets it to Phil Yaw. He's down the sidelines. And a first down down around the 15-yard line for the Oregon Ducks. State 15-yard line. That ball is thrown to Phil Yaw. It is out of bounds. Did he have possession? Green. Fake the draw. Swing it wide. You got to trust your quarterback on something like that. Good call. He never had possession. At the Penn State 10. Shotgun. Give it a Phil Yaw. Over the left side. Down close to a first down. Depends on the mark. He missed it. Oh, my goodness. Never got anything on the kick. Comes Penn State from the 20-yard line. Kerry Collins back to throw and has all day. Now he lets it go, and the pass is caught by Bobby Ingram, and here's the penalty flag. Times. Yep. 7-7 tie. Get it for two minutes to go. Give it a Carter working in the middle. To Jonah. Or when he plants that cut foot and heads up the Here's a look at the Nittany Lions in the Big Ten. They lead in every offensive category. They've given the ball away the fewest times. Third down conversions, they're the best. And they're the best yards. at protecting their quarterback. Franny Ganter is the offensive coordinator. Dick Anderson is their quarterback coach, passing games coach. They've done a great job with each other. Pressure, pass away, tied in. Kyle Brady, first time he's seen it. Gary Collins, quickly for the sideline. Pass is caught by Bobby Ingram, and they'll give him the mark for the first down. So there should be some big play opportunities. Here's Kajana Carter carrying the ball in the middle. And they finally the touchdown so far. Flips and down he goes on one knee. Ducks coming after him. Collins slips and doesn't go down. Pass to the end zone. Scott had it on his fingertips and couldn't hold it. Alex Molden, I think, got a piece of it. Collins does a nice job. He slips on the turf, but this ball is well thrown. I don't know if it's tipped or not. Yep, yeah, it just was tipped. a little. Yep. Alex Molden just Un got a finger. Underthrown just a here, so maybe they'll be changing shoes. Brett Conway for a field goal try from the 40. 36 for 46 yards. He doesn't get it. The Oregon Ducks. Behind Danny O'Neill now. Oregon ball. First down. 29-yard line. O'Neill back. Gets some pressure. Gets his pass off. Pass is caught by John Lamore to the left side. O'Neill getting pressure. Willie Smith. They throw it to Ricketts. He can fly. And he is caught from behind. Second down and seven. O'Neill turns. Throws over here. Pass is caught by Mac Lamore. Trying to set a screen. They run for it, give it a whirl, won't get there. Ricky Whittle. He can move it. Good snap. Kick is away. Good kick. Very high. Archie with a fair catch. Ball at the 12 on his hands. Here comes Bobby Ingram on a reverse. Chad Cota takes it. 
John. And Carter losing the football, didn't he? He sure did. Oregon, I think, had their hands on the ball. Now, whether they kept it or not, I don't know. Well, the yeah. ball was out. He was not. Now comes back in motion and pitches it to Kajana Carter on third down and two. And he does not get the first down. Jeremy Asher inside line. defense are coming. O'Neill better hurry. Gets it out. And it is in third and eight. Willie Smith after O'Neill. He's got it. Willie Smith caught Atkins. Slipped underneath. At Outside linebacker. Going to come into with Wiggins. The uh, tackle. Penn State number two in the Big Ten in sacking the opposing quarterback. From the 14. Let's it go. He has a man on the sidelines, and the pass is completed. Wonderful. This is Kajana Carter. Ball comes out. Oregon diving. Got a shot at it. Ducks have it. Second fumble by Carter. Ricky Whittle, the deep back. Danny O'Neill trying to cash it quickly. Got to hurry. Can't do it. Lions knock him down. They need him. Things slowed down when he left the ball game. This is Whittle looking for a crack to run in. And the Lions are not going to get the single back here. He's a blocker. Pass down the middle is good, but it's short of a first down. The pass is. And it's on its way, and it is no good. He's missed two. The next 23 plays. They gained 83 yards. Gary Collins, Bobby Ingram, wide open. He ran Molden off. Molden was 10 yards down the field, running around looking for him, and he catches the ball. Big pickings. I may not want to watch it if it's like that. <laughs> That's a good pass by Kerry Collins. Strong arm, and again, he's going. You've got to get to the Ingram. ball to your wide receivers. Both Ingram and Scott both averaged 20 yards. Uh, per reception this year, and both told. Collins going deep. He's got a man. It's up. out of bounds at the one yard line. Joe Jurevicius. A rich Jurevicius, 83, the top of your screen, is like the fourth choice on this route. He came into the game with one catch all year. He is the punter. He has seen action punting a lot more than he has wide receiving. And that is a big pullback. That's the other reason. Brian Mills. <laughs> he slams it in there. And the Nittany Lions it up. Mill number 22 is 6'3 and 253 pounds. He's a good receiver and a Both tough, a load, aren't they? tough kid. Oh, boy, they're tough. Ball is fielded, and the return will be well short of the 20-yard line. These young guys are doing a wonderful job, and uh, I think that football is, uh, is uh, great for the young people, and they are... They are the future Great. of America. Had a good time. We're delighted always to see it. Here's Danny O'Neill running out. Throwing. Good. 14 to 7. Penn State holding the lead. Danny O'Neill gets it off down the middle. Pass is caught by Johnson. Pat Johnson does beat O'Neill bringing him back. Pass all the way across the field. Caught by Ricketts. He loses two tacklers, three tacklers, and finally taken down after 160 yards. He's looking for McLemore. He goes underneath McLemore to Josh Wilcox for first down. Jane pretty slow. <laughs> Penn State. That's McLemore. He's knocked down at the 10-yard line. And he didn't throw it in the end zone. And he didn't get out of bounds. And they're not going to score. Time's going to run out on them. They did not get out of bounds. You cannot. you got to throw the ball into the end zone. So they don't do 
the two things they had to do. And the half is over. And at halftime, Penn State 14, Oregon 7, and Dameron Ricketts was wide open. Just didn't see it. But it has been a most entertaining first half of play, and the second half may be just as good. Uh, that's my adjective for him. It's the first play of the ball game. Greeley, number 50, is going to get a block. He's going to break a tackle. And 83 yards later, Kajana Carter just shows you why he is such an outstanding running back. From New York, Oregon. Eldon, who missed two field goals in the first half, knocks it back to the one-yard line. And Archie comes back to the 20-21. Here is the backs behind Kerry Collins. And Kerry on first down comes out throwing to the fullback. The ball is caught. Let's look at the numbers in the first half. Uh, look at uh, Penn State. Rushing yards, 123. Passing about the same. They're balanced. For Oregon, 278 yards passing, only 16 rushing. Each has had a turnover, time of possession, a little bit in the favor of Oregon. John Whitman checks into the backfield now for the Lions. Second down and about seven. Collins again throwing to the sideline. Good throw. Good throw, and the man under it is Freddie Penn State. Here they come. With John Carter on a pitch, pops out of there, but they finally bring him down. Maybe lined up in the neutral zone. Kick is out of there. Good. Oh, good that kick. is a very good kick. Barry retreats all the way to the 22-yard line. There's a penalty flag down. And O'Berry is taken down by Stephen Pitts. That's yard second. line for the first down after the penalty. And they give it to Whittle, and Whittle is taken down Six. up around. They're one out of seven on third down conversions. O'Neill's got a problem. Now you need to throw it, but he can't do it. He can't pull that trigger up. He's in motion. Terry Collins looking for him. There it is. And it's a first down. Right about the 50-yard line. Goes in motion. Here's Terry Collins. You drop it off to uh, Archie. Looking for a screen. Got loose on the sidelines. And Jeff Sherman. Second down and 10. Collins. Hit as he throws. The pass is incomplete. Collins looking for it again. Throws a bullet. And he drills it to Freddie Scott. Money a leg. Got it. Oh, no, he missed it. Pulled it out. First down for the Oregon Ducks. The ball at the 25-yard line. Danny O'Neill back has time. Now they flush him. And he's going to pick up some. Got about seven minutes. O'Neill trying for the first down. His second effort may have gotten it, but I don't think so. I don't think he got it. Look at the line of scrimmage. The center gets stuffed. That's Greg. The seat number 51 was right there. So it's a good defensive line. Backfield. And Collins throwing on first down. Down the middle. Pass complete. Kyle Brady tied in. Motion. He leaves Ingram on the near side. There's the white man. Hand it to the up man, the fullback, number 22, Brian Mill. On third down, Kerry Collins has time to pump it, then takes a lick, completes the pass. First down. Thrown to Germany. It's become Kerry Collins' ball game now, hasn't it? Yep. Back to throw again on first down. To the sideline. The pass is complete to Mike Archie. Dancing around, they're coming after him, but he gets his pass away. It's intercepted. It's picked off by Reggie Jordan. And Jordan is knocked out of bounds. Down at the 17 yard. Oregon had 29 passes first half. None yet this half. O'Neill's pass to the corner. <laughs> Gotta be good. I don't think he came down in bounds. Kristen McLemore. He was carried out on the shoulders of a Penn State defender. The officials have signaled nothing. Ambrose Fletcher at the seventh. That's fresh legs.
Finally those, got him. Those at fresh the 21 yard line. His fresh legs wore out, didn't they? Quarter. Well, Collins makes a mistake. Oregon turns it into a touchdown. And Penn State comes right back and shows its grit on its special teams. The kickoff return team makes a big play. And Penn State has it on about the 21 yard line. 440 to play in the third quarter. 14 14 time. This is Carter. And the John Carter. Here they come. Carter again. He's gone. Yeah. Wide open left side. Bang. Penn State comes right back and regains the lead. But it was the kickoff return that did it. Oregon got pinned in the middle. Here's a look from behind the defense. Asher 44 on a blitz. Conlon 53 picks him up. Look at that size yep. of that hole. Yep. What happens when you gamble, you live by the blitz, sometimes they're going to hit it at the right time. And what you want to do is, is uh, create a Here's crease. Sandusky made some adjustments. Now Oregon has to react to those adjustments. Bill, you're screen. on the screen. Yeah, he got some room. Oh, oh my goodness. Now, well, he might 40. Neal's over 300 yards. Look out, Willie Smith's coming. Pass down the middle. That'll be picked off. Bad pass. And Nittany Lions are cooking. It is Chuck Penzenic who made his first start in this ball game. This is his second interception. He runs it all the way back to the 13-yard line. What kind of a story? It's a little play action. They're trying to get the safety to bite. Penzenic is staying deep. Deep middle, the ball is overthrown. Yeah, that was that was Oregon's mistake. No question about it. It was a mistake by Danny. He just threw the ball. Tried to force it. Tried yep. to force it. Too many white shirts. And here's Penn State knocking on the door. Pass. From the back it comes to Collins. Collins is hit just as he catches the ball. And he moves it. And it's part of the ball. Well, I tell you. Now, it was the offense early on. This is Carter, and he's touchdown. Some time. Brady, Whitman's 38. That's Whitman, number 38. He's the fullback. Offensive line, Johnson and Rivera. And you know, my mom, when I was a kid growing up, when the kids used to call me, in the neighborhood we were in, they'd call me WAP and things so, like that. As we know it today, this is a great bowl. Yes, it is. We've got a hundred and over a hundred. That's Whittle with the ball, and he's got an Oregon first down. Up Will this ball. stadium be full, or with the one next week, and not affect the bowl game? That's a defensive play by the Penn State Nerd line. line. Danny O'Neill back. Has pretty good protection. His pass is away to Kristen McLemore. And McLemore. Big numbers uh, everywhere you look. Uh, total number of plays. Interesting one right here for Oregon. 336 yards passing is the most against any opponent for uh, Penn State this year. Four. Third and four. O'Neill's pass to McLemore in the middle of the field. And he's got a first down as he's inside. They beat Arizona and Washington to get here. O'Neill doesn't have anybody to throw to. Now throws it to the ground. Third down, O'Neill steps up. Throws, Gurry is. Tried to get it to Wilcox and Marlon Forbes got a hand on it and knocked it away. Back to Yuboa Cody, 43. They're all backing up. Gelsheiser's backing up. There's Forbes. He's just playing the area. Now his man got in the area. He'll play him a little bit. Just him. Just knocked it away. He's going to mark it right about the 45. It's up. And he can't buy one. Right. And they dance for a while. And everybody there applauded. Well, it's supposed to be. That's a good play by Molden on Bobby Ingram. 
Daddy O'Neill. Not much on Haps at this point in time. O'Neill steps away from the pressure. Turns it upfield and runs for There's your first down. It's still your And Dino tends to play in the game. 28-14, the ball is slapped down. Intended for Kristen McLemore and Willie Smith dropping off. Third down, big play here for the Ducks. Yaboa Cody, got him. What a good play by Phil Yaboa Cody. From, Back from the left side, watches Phil Yaw, number 12, steps out the block. The first problem is he didn't step close enough to the line of scrimmage. Secondly, he tried to cut him, and Yaboa Cody, great uh, athletic ability. First down for the Dickey Lions, and this is Katana Carter. And they're able to keep it. Oh, look at this. Nice. Pass was too high and behind Bobby Ingram at their own 46-yard line. Danny O'Neill quickly to Ricketts. Hammer and Ricketts running in the middle of the field. We'll pick USC up. and Wisconsin. <laughs> Here's Whittle. And Whittle getting down the sideline. Willie Smith got him. Ball came out, but he was down. Smith again. No, it's not Smith. It's Terry Killen. Killens with a great play. Remember a linebacker that was at Penn State that didn't get much uh, notoriety till he got out of the Penn State, and that was Jack Ham. Yep. Morgan doesn't use the shotgun. Bull rush, pass away, passes incomplete. Kristen McLemore had his hands on it. Ball was just a little. Mike Archie now is in the backfield with Brian Mills as the Nittany Lions take over at their own 35-yard line. And Mills with a strong run of six yards. Paul Bryant in postseason bowl game wins. And if his team wins this one today in the 48-yard line, Nittany Lions start to grind it now. And breaking up the middle is Mike Archie. And Archie inside. Brady is to the right, number 81. That's Rivera, number 54. The fullback is there, too. 81 gets a big block, buries his man to the inside. That's Bailey again. When you've got a... When you've got... Kerry Collins quickly hits Freddie Scott. And Scott will get inside the third. Michigan two years ago. That pass is swung out to Mike Archie. And Archie is not, he's not shaken. 43-yard <laughs> field goal try, a lot of leg, it's good. Brett Conway from 43 makes it a 31 to 14 ball game. The way they want it. Here's a little bit of a delay with Pillyaw trying to pop out of there. Right. Been a lot of short possessions. And that won't get him the first down. Look out. Yaboa Cody. Still Yaboa Cody. And Penn State will own the football down around the Oregon 13-yard line. That's the first time Gary's had that smile. Yes. Since he came west. From the top of the screen, one of the outside linebackers, Yaboa Cody and Willie Smith. Left side. The guard tries to get out. That's Reed, 71. Reached the low water mark for Penn State in scoring this, this year. They scored the lowest coming in was 31 points against Michigan. Two big backs. All at the nine-yard line. They gave it to Whitman. He's down to the goal line, but not in. Oh, they call him in. He tumbles over. I thought he was short. I thought he was too, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. No. Penn State will finish the season scoring 51 straight times when they have been in what is called the red zone. <laughs> He's down a yard short of the line. Hey, we're number one. You got to give us at least one of them. 
got to get at least one of Poles. We got, we're number one. We're number one. one of, at least one of we're number one. We got to give it to us. Kajana, we don't have a vote. Look at this gang green defense. Uh, there was a little uh, lobbying for some votes. <laughs> I'm just going to say the players and the coaches of Penn State. Well, Johnson City, Oregon, and just this past week committed to going to school at Oregon. So the Wilcox name carries on at the University of Oregon. this year. End of the year. Oh. Yes, it Whittle down the sideline. But uh, how about... Uh, how about some of the play calling in that game with Spurrier? Uh, Spurrier making some of those calls. That was not bad. But the best individual performance. I'll give you a clue. My vote, Texas-Colorado game. Yeah, some fellow named Salam. Salam. <laughs> Over 300 yards rushing, wasn't yeah. it? Something like that. From the start of the season when they were... Going to the end zone. Incomplete. That's a good defensive play. Pat Johnson, the speech that was down there. Offense. Brian Miller, I think, is the man that came across to make the play. Top on. right. You're right, yep. Miller. Miller. Miller went to the same high school as Joe Montana. That's Wilcox again for the first down. They had some problems on the road. They had problems at Illinois. Whittle trying to find his way down the sideline. Bobby Moore, you may know him as Ahmad Rashad. Whittle, touchdown. Ricky Whittle, scampers in for six. Tommy Frazier, how about Tommy Frazier? Tommy Frazier, but he ended it. Uh, he had a considerable trend passion. Yeah, how about Jerry Copeland at uh, Tennessee? Yeah, that's the ultimate. Yeah. Outside. Goes Carter. And Katana Carter is out of bounds. This is Brian Mill. <laughs> Up to you. It sticks out in my mind like it was the left fell down on the floor. 24 yard line. Here goes uh, Mill the other way, and they're just pounding now. Just just pounding on a minute and 20 to play. The executive producer of ABC Sports is Jack O'Hara, coordinating producer of ABC's College Final Football. seconds ticking away. This will do it. This is Stephen Pitts. Stephen Pitts. And the game is over. The Penn State Lions defeat the Oregon Ducks 38 to 20. An untied, undefeated Penn State Nittany Lions. Lynn Swan, try to get a word with him when we come back.